Are you a high school student interested in going to medical school, but you're not sure where to start? If so, this video is for you. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to AV Med. My name is Adrian and I'm now a third year med student. I decided to make this video because I see a lot of high schoolers online asking questions about how to go to medical school and where they should start. And I wanna make sure that anyone out there who isn't sure what the path is like can find out. Personally, I didn't have a lot of family members in medicine. My mom is a dental assistant and I have a second cousin that's a doctor. So I had a little bit of insight, but at least in high school, I really didn't know where to start, but I knew that I was interested in the medical field. In this video, I'm gonna lay out the path to medical school and some things that you can start doing as early as high school to start preparing. Let's talk about the pathway to medical school. So after high school, the first thing you're gonna have to do is enroll in a college. And here you can major in biology is most common, or you can major in something else as long as you take the pre-med requirement classes. These classes include a year of chemistry, a year of biology, a year of physics, a year of organic chemistry, biochemistry, a year of English, and a year of math. So it's really great if you major in biology, all of that is usually already included because they know that a lot of their students wanna to go to medical school, or if you wanna major in something else, it's fine as long as you make sure you take all of those classes. Then usually in the second half of college, you are gonna take the MCAT, um, assuming you wanna to go to medical school either right out or one to two years after college. And during this time when you're taking all these classes and taking the MCAT, you're also going to wanna to be involved in extracurricular activities. You can space these out more so that you have time for everything. Sometimes people will do a gap year or two or even more where they do a lot of great extracurriculars that will look good for their application. Finally, you'll get letters of recommendation. And when you have all of these, then you can apply for medical school. Overall, you need to have a four-year degree, take the pre-med requirements, take the MCAT, have letters of recommendation, and extracurricular activities. When you have these five things, then you are ready to apply for medical school. One of the most important skills that you can start learning in high school, if you wanna to go to medical school, is to learn how to study. This is important because in medical school, all you do is study all the time. And in order to get into med school, you have to study a lot to get good grades so that you can get accepted. What's really important to keep in mind is that studying is a skill that can be learned and it's totally fine if you're naturally not an amazing student and you don't need to necessarily have a lot of resources or come from a wealthy family in order to get good at studying. One of the most important things to keep in mind when trying to learn how to study is to remember that you should never be embarrassed to ask for help. When you don't know something, you have to ask questions and that's how you learn. That's, that's the only way to get better at studying. For me, I definitely struggled a lot, especially with biology and chemistry in high school, and it definitely did not come naturally to me. And I really didn't know how to learn it. What worked for me was finding one of my friends that was on my cross country team in high school, and I knew he was super good at chemistry. And I would just ask him for help and say, hey, like, do you think you could take a couple minutes to help me? And he would actually help tutor me for free. There's always gonna be nice people who are willing to help you if you're willing to ask. And when you get to college, there's a lot of free tutoring on campus that you can take advantage of. And this is something that I did when I got to college to continue learning to study, is I would always go to these review sessions that uh, the Student Learning Center would put on and it really helped me kind of see how the best students learned and figure out how I could do it too. Another thing to know about is online resources. There are a lot of these that are free. You don't necessarily have to pay a tutor. Paying a tutor if you can afford it is wonderful, but you can also use things like Khan Academy, which has made videos on so many subjects. You can also just use YouTube. I used to type in math problems, not the actual equation, but I would say, hey, how do you do this kind of math problem? And I would look at it on YouTube and that's a great free way to get an explanation. And you can usually look at different people explain it different ways. Um, so you have to sort of be resourceful. Finally, you wanna make sure that you're trying out different study techniques. So if you're studying and you're not getting the grades that you want, it might be because you need to try something different. I encourage you to try studying in groups, try studying from the textbook, and try as many different things as you can until you find something that works. The next thing you can do in high school to start preparing to get into medical school is take biology, physics, and chemistry. This is really helpful because 
These are really core classes in college that you have to get good grades in. And then they're also gonna be asked upon on the MCAT. And then even more, when you're in medical school, you're gonna have to rely on your knowledge of these subjects to learn medicine. If your school has AP, versions of these classes like AP Bio, AP Physics, or AP Chem, then this is a great way to get a really strong start on the pre-med curriculum. I will say don't overwhelm yourself, so don't take all of these courses at once if you feel like that's going to be too much because at the same time you want to make sure that you're really learning well and not just overwhelming yourself and then you end up failing all these classes. The next thing you can do to start preparing to get into medical school is to shadow a doctor in your community. And I think this is great because if you're in high school, it's still very early on and you might not even be 100% sure if you wanna to go to medical school and that's totally fine. A lot of people don't even decide to go to medical school until after they've graduated college and several years have passed. So it's not something that you have to rush into and that's why I encourage you to try to shadow a doctor. That way you can see what it's really like. Chances are if you're in high school, then you probably haven't seen a lot of medical care. Maybe you wanna be a doctor because it just sounds interesting or you've seen Grey's Anatomy or you've been to the doctor yourself or you've had a family member that's sick. And these are all great reasons to become interested in medicine, but I think it's great to actually shadow a doctor. That way you can start to see what the day-to-day -day life of a physician is like. This can be super difficult and I wasn't even able to shadow a doctor in high school. So it can be really hard to find a doctor that is gonna let a high school student shadow them, but it is doable. One way you can do this is by asking your own family physician if they know any doctors that would maybe let you shadow, or if you know any doctors in your family or friends who have parents who are doctors. And if all of those don't work, you can just try cold emailing doctors in your community. If you draft a nice email saying who you are and why you're interested in coming to shadow, chances are you'll probably be able to find at least one doctor that's gonna let you shadow them. And if none of these options work, you can try getting involved in some sort of clinical volunteering and that can at least allow you to see the inside of the hospital or some sort of medical setting so that you can start to see what the world of medicine is like. The next thing to do if you want to go to medical school and you're currently in high school is to pick a university. And there are so many different colleges and universities that you can go to, so it can feel paralyzing when trying to make that choice. Some advice that I have is to pick somewhere that is first, affordable, and second, somewhere that has a track record of sending students to medical school. The reason I say pick somewhere affordable is that medical school is so expensive and the average med school graduate has so much debt. So if you can pick a college that is somewhat affordable and is not gonna bear you in debt, you will likely thank yourself later when you're going to medical school and have to take on a lot of medical school loans. One great affordable option for college that everyone has is community college. And although I didn't go there, I know many students that did go there and ended up being successful med students later. A lot of people have questions about how medical schools are gonna look at community college students. For the most part, if you get great grades at community college and continue getting great grades at whatever school you apply to, medical schools will look very fondly upon your application and you're not gonna be disadvantaged in the process. And you wanna make sure you're going somewhere that has many students that go to medical school. This is something you can ask a around about through word of mouth or often just looking up and seeing what number of students go to med school from each university. For example, when I went to UC Berkeley, I knew that at least UCSF takes the most students from UC Berkeley compared to any other school. So I felt good knowing that many students from UC Berkeley get into med school. So wherever you're going, make sure to ask about this. Another thing to think about when picking a college is whether there's a medical school associated with it. And this can be good for multiple reasons. For one, if there's a medical school associated with the college you're going to, that is often gonna mean that there will be more opportunities for pre-med students. Also, when you're applying to your university's medical school, they will often look more favorably upon students from their own undergrad. This is not true of everywhere, but I know that at least at some places it is. Something else to consider is what majors are offered and what you're gonna major in. I have a whole video talking about whether you should major in biology or something else. Feel free to check that out. Overall, it's not the most make or break decision where you choose to go to college as long as it's a good fit for you and it's gonna help you reach your goal of going to medical school. The last thing I'll say for any high school students watching this is to not overstress about it. You are in high school, so make sure you enjoy your life a little bit and it's totally fine if you're not getting straight A's right now. If you're already killing it and you're a great student, that's awesome, but not everyone is like that. And it's more about your trajectory than where you are right now. So don't feel bad if you're still struggling in those 
those classes because that is not going to prevent you from going to medical school as long as you keep at it. Finally, if you're watching this video and you're in high school, then you're probably already way ahead of the curve in terms of getting into medical school. If you're thinking about things this early and planning things out this far ahead, then you'll probably be a great med student. Another piece of advice that I'll give is to take what any advisor says with a large grain of salt because I know a lot of people in high school or in college are discouraged by advisors who tell them that they are never going to get into medical school because of a certain grade they got and I will definitely say to ignore that and the best thing to ask advisors for advice for is how to become an advisor because that's what they did with their life. And if you want to go to medical school or become a doctor, the best people to ask are medical students and doctors. Stick around this channel if you want to know more advice for being a great student, getting into medical school, what medical school is like, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.